Hey guys, this is Jimmy, and I'm in my 1978 Chevy C10 truck, goes by the name of Billy James. Haven't started this truck in a long time, and this is the first nice day that we've had here in East Tennessee. It's probably 60 degrees or 59, somewhere right in there, and uh, I'm going to pull it around to the front, so let's, uh, let's give it a cold start. It's been a few weeks since I've started it. Oh, I don't have a good battery connection. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Okay, take two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This thing started right up, and it's been a long time since I've started it. And it's been very cold here in East Tennessee. Single digits, and uh, last night, I think, was, I don't know, in the 20s. But, uh, as you can see, it started up pretty dang good. This is a good truck. Uh, I've checked my yard. It's still somewhat damp, a little bit damp, but I think it will uh, make it to the front yard, hopefully, without getting stuck. Hopefully. I kind of walked around in the yard a little bit. I sure don't want to get stuck. This sure is a dandy little old truck. Uh, I bought some wheels and tires for my 1980 uh, Chevy C10 truck. That's over, at, as of this video, it's over at Gas X Chop Shop with Tim Dixon. Oh, by the way, you can find Tim on Facebook if you type in Gas X Chop Shop. My wife and I bought a 1980 uh, short bed fleet side truck. It's just just like this one. It's a round headlight and uh, through, you guys told me, you know, it's a round headlight and I, I, in 1980 they went to the square headlights as you know or, I'm still learning everything but I didn't know it but the low the truck that we bought the 1980 is a, a custom deluxe the, the lower end of the spectrum. You know, it's not a Cheyenne, it's not a Bonanza, it's not a Silverado None of that stuff, but it's the low on the totem pole truck. So we bought it from Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop, like I said. Uh, I don't know if you've been watching my videos or not, but uh, my old truck, my 1978 old, old truck that I used to have, Old Dookie, that was the name of it, Old Dookie. My very first video on YouTube. And uh, I wound up getting the wheels and tires off of it from the new owner of Old Dookie, the guy I sold it to. And uh, I was going to take in the GM 1038s, and I still will, but uh, his name's Brian. Check out his YouTube channel, GM 1038. He said he didn't know when he'd have time to go over to Tim's to get the 80 model Chevy truck, C10 truck that my wife and I bought. I hope this makes sense. Anyway, uh, so for the time being, I'm going to put the wheels and tires in this truck, and when when he gets the 1980 Chevy C10 truck that my wife and I bought to his garage, I'll take the wheels and tires over. He really doesn't have a spot to put the wheels and tires because his garage is kind of <laughs> kind of slammed too, with a '69 GMC and a '56 Chevy truck and a tractor and all kinds of stuff and. I was going to run him over at him, but he really doesn't have the room right now, so uh, I'll just wait till another day. So in the meantime, I'm going to put him in this truck. I'm going to ease it out of here. Best I can without hitting nothing. Man, I can't believe how quick this old truck started. My goodness, what a good truck. If you're new to the channel, when you see the truck, you're probably going, <laughs> oh boy, your expectations are low. Well, they are. My expectations are low. But these old trucks, like that one right there, my 84 left turn bill and this one, were destined for a bad ending. And uh, this kind of saved them from being, being put down, I guess you'd say been cleaning up my cat eye truck a little bit and I thought today 
is a great day to put them wheels and tires in here. I just gotta remember the door's open and I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to shut them. I'm a little bit nutty, guys. Just a wee bit. Let me go shut the doors, okay? Okay, guys, without boring you to death, I, w I went ahead and took the tires, wheels and tires out of this cat eye truck here and uh, put it here. And uh, Billy James. Uh, these wheels are a little bit different. I mean, they're five on five bolt pattern, but, you know, they fit on a C10 truck. Obviously, they came off of my 78 C10 truck old Dookie, and I'm going to put them on the 1980, but uh, they're, they're Corvette style. They're not uh, truck rallies. They're Corvette style. So they will accept. I found these in the garage. They're very dirty. And I probably won't run these at all. My, my buddy I bought the wheels and tires from. He has the he has the beauty rings and the, uh, the center caps. He just forgot to bring them to me. These are really dirty. I'm, I'm almost ashamed to show them to you. They's just in an old box. And I couldn't believe I found them. But it looked kind of like a Corvette rally wheel with the beauty ring on it. This is the, oh, by the way, these two are 15 by 8. These two are 15 by 7 uh, wheels. So, uh, and these are, somebody I probably asked two, 55, 70, 15s. And these are, uh, seen it yesterday, uh, two 25, 70, 15s. So I have wider in the back, more narrow in the front. These are brand new tires. Uh, once again, if you didn't watch the video, he told me that uh, these tires have 10 miles on them. The front tires here, the 15 by 7s, he said the rear ones have about 1,000 miles on them. So uh, he's going to bring me the beauty rings or we're going to meet up sometime. Probably meet up, I guess. But uh, anyway, they should look good on the 1980s. The truck basically looks like this, the 80s, it's just a little more, <laughs> a little more beat up than this one. But uh I was going to show you this too if you didn't know. This is the real deal here. Though. I mean, this is a genuine GM cap. Uh, the aftermarkets, set this where you can see it. The aftermarkets will say D I S K K. The real deal, like this one is, a regular GM is D I S C, the way it's supposed to be spelled. But it doesn't make no difference to me. I mean, these are genuine GM. Uh, center caps, of course, you know, those are aftermarket. I I traded around or something. I don't know how I wound up with those center caps, but I did. I don't know. I've had them for years. So uh, I'll put them back up in the house. Most of the time I run these. Uh, American Racing uh, Torque Thrust Wheels. These are 20s. Somebody probably asked me if they're 275, 40, 20s, uh, 20 by 8s. Oh, I'm sorry, 20 by 10s. Got mixed up there for a second. Knees or uh, numbers get me mixed up. Let me see. I'll find it here in a minute. Hopefully quicker. Not having no luck finding it, guys. It's here somewhere. Let me look on this other wheel. Sorry, guys. I'm just... Can't seem to do nothing right today. Some, some days are... Diamonds, some days are cold. Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. What is wrong with me? I should know them as much as I've repeated them. Oh, 245, 40, 20s, 8s, 8s and 10s. Man, I can't believe I forgot that, but it's actually been a while since I got this old truck out. It's a 78 C10 truck. goes by the name of Billy James because Billy James used to own this truck show you a little bit uh i was just checking the fluids after i put the tires on it i thought well it's been sitting back there for a couple of months or so and check the fluids everything's good uh as you can heard it started up pretty quick i periodically start them i know it looks like i start them every two days but i don't it's ever whenever i get a notion and it's nice enough to go back there in the backyard so uh yeah i'm gonna have to next time i get it out i'll get some lubrication lube the the uh hood hinges but uh anyway i thought i'd show you about these tires and i'm real happy i think that 
look real good on the 1980. Uh, I'm going to repaint the rims. Redo, uh, repaint the rims again. And of course, I mean, all this stuff you don't see, it's where the beauty ring would go. But I, I'm going to repaint the whole thing. And uh, I'm real proud to have the wheels and tires. Uh, also, in the in the mix of getting these wheels and tires, I got me my old steering wheel back. He saved that for me for a surprise. The cover lay dash cover and the door panels off old Dookie. Now, the door panels ain't much. But it's better than nothing, you know. I'm I'm low budget here on this on this channel, <laughs> for sure. So uh, I thank you for watching, guys. I know the video is probably quite long, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, I just want to thank you for watching. You watching Primer is best. My name is Jimmy. It's getting late in the day. I need to put some stuff up and. Get ready to get a shower here soon. Uh, my wife is not here, so uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens here in a little bit. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, you're watching Primitive's Best. I'm also on Facebook, Primitive's Best, and Instagram, Primitive's Best. Oh, yeah, I got this piece of metal. I'm still waiting for Tim. Tim has gone, as of this video, to uh, Las Vegas for a motorcycle, uh, showing his motorcycle. Has had his motorcycle shipped to Las Vegas, and uh, or no, I think he's leaving this weekend. Let's see. Anyway, in a day or two, might be leaving today. I don't know. I called him in a few minutes ago, and I uh, told him that I uh, hope he has a good time in Las Vegas, and uh, hopefully he will. Hopefully he'll win some money or whatever. He he builds award-winning motorcycles, but that piece once again, I'm going to see if he'll fix. This right here probably won't take them but just a few minutes to zip this out, put in a, that new piece, cut it, you know, get it to fit, pack it in, and that'll be all the rest in this truck fixed. So uh, I'm waiting on Tim uh, whenever he he stays slammed all the time. So sometimes you got to wait a little while, and I don't mind. I'm not in a big hurry whatsoever. So uh, anyway, y'all have a blessed day today. The Lord is in charge, and uh, he's made a beautiful day today. I'm just... So happy to be alive and happy to be out here to enjoy this day. I'm rooting for summertime to get here. Yeehaw, come on summertime. So uh, anyway, let me know what you think, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that when when Brian ever gets time to get the 1980 C10 truck to his garage, I, I've got a, I've already got a lowering kit for it. You know, it's basically the same truck as this. It's a round headlight like I explained. It's not square. The last year for a round headlight for the, it, and it was on the custom deluxe. Now this is a Cheyenne, but this is a 78 model, but it basically looks like the same truck. But uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description where you can see the truck uh, before my wife and I bought it. And then you'll see a video that we decided to buy the truck. Needs a lot of work, but it needs a whole lot less work than what this one did. When, when when we got it, it was just, this truck had been wrecked and just pasted. This truck has been pasted together. So the 80 is a whole lot. I know people said, don't get that truck. It's not no good. It's blah, 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 blah. Well, they evidently hadn't seen videos of this old truck. And oh, by the way, I got new trim for it. I'm just waiting for GM Tim Bryan to uh, put it on whenever he has a moment. He stays busy. Everybody stays slammed. I'm retired, so I'm not, I slam my own self. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I get anxious for things too, but, you know, there's other things in life, and I'm not in a hurry. Honestly, I'm not. But uh, it's basically the same truck as this, short bed, fleet side, and, uh, you know, I'm going to try to, I'm just going to try to make it, get it up and running. I've got a transmission, a 400 turbo transmission. I've got a lowering kit for it, and, of course, now i got wheels and tires, better wheels and tires uh, that should last me a long time and uh what else do I, I got a cover lay dash cover and let's see seem like there's some more stuff so uh i'm trying to think but anyway it doesn't matter it'll be a fun project and my wife and i will make it look the best we can on a budget if you'd like to stay tuned to that uh that would be great and you're watching Primer's Best. Like I said, I got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. That is me. I am a man on a budget. If you're a man or a woman on a budget, subscribe to Primer's Best. And 
man on a budget and uh, maybe we can figure some things out together how to finagle our way around to <laughs> to, <laughs> to get what we want my sponsor is my wife mrs pib i have to <laughs> oh boy i know i get on her nerves sometimes she's boy what a blessed woman i have that for a wife but i know i get on her nerves but last night i seen my buddy i'll say this real quick then i hush but my friend gm1038 you need to check out his youtube channel brian sent me a picture of a 55 pontiac oh my goodness i wanted that car and i've done everything in the world but tell my wife you know i wanted it. i said boy i should like to have that car that's a good running car i said it runs good shifts good got brand new tires you know is is patina style there's a four-door patina style kind of lowered had the original full-size hubcaps on it still had the little uh airplane you know rocket or, no airplane you know it lights up on the hood it it's a cool car it's it looks kind of like this hood i mean it's just cool and uh all over it i mean it's just a cool car and i told my wife i'd like to have it but <laughs> as you can see it's not sitting in the driveway so uh funds are limited and uh, i've got enough projects going on with the 66 and uh and the 80 so uh yeah i've talked long enough guys i didn't mean to keep you so long i hope y'all have a blessed day today may the lord watch over you and your family and friends Hope you have a good evening, and I'll catch y'all in the next video on Primer is Best. God bless each and every one of y'all and your families and friends. I'll see y'all later. Oh, give me a thumbs up. See you later.